What is going on everyone? Welcome to your 26th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over cameras. Now, what a camera is, is pretty much um, a different way of viewing your composition. So instead of just viewing it straight on, me looking directly at it like a TV, you can have your camera move around and view it from all different sorts of angles and distances. And just like a regular camera, um, one of the main things is the closer you are to your composition, the bigger it appears and the further away you are, the smaller it appears. So um, you'll see why this is useful in a little bit. But before we start working with the camera, I need to show you guys how to create a camera. So how you do that is go to layer. Again, make a, not again, the first time I'm telling you. But make sure your current time indicator is the home. And just press home on your keyboard um, if it isn't. But anyways, just go to layer, new, camera, to create a camera. Then press OK. And now you see, uh, again, I'm working with two views. Uh, this is active camera and this is right. At when you look good, 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 good. When you do that, a camera pops up in your layer panel. And you can edit this camera in the position of this camera just like you were in any other layer. But it has a few um, gotchas. So anytime you want to get to the settings of that camera, go ahead and just double click this and as you see we now have the settings of the camera so the first thing and one of the main things I want to talk to you guys about is this preset right here it's a 50 millimeter but go ahead and click something like 35 millimeter or actually 80 millimeter then go ahead and press OK and you see that the composition increases in size but let's go ahead and take a look down at our composition right here and the size is all the same so what happened if you can see out here here's my little camera right here instead of just increasing the size it just give the appearance that it increased in size so let's go ahead and this brings me to the point that anytime I don't know what it was it before 35 maybe good enough anytime your camera increases or decreases in this little preset right here a decrease means you can see more of your composition an increase in size means you can see less of your composition but that is irrelevant for now I just wanted to show you guys um, what that is so pretty much what you're seeing isn't the size of your composition it's just your perspective of how big it is based on the angle of the camera if that makes any sense at all if it doesn't oh well another thing I want to take note of is aside from when we started when we start editing angles and all stuff like that aside from all these basic um what do they call preset views you have your custom camera views too so ours is the same right now but whenever you start editing weird angles you can also view it from the cam cameras you made so that's a neat little um thing to take note of if you want to make a camera just for viewing angles you can do that as well so now let's get to something halfway useful in when you're making like professional film films and stuff a real camera has different stuff have different amounts of blur depending on if it's in focus or not now in after effects you don't have to do this and everything can just be in perfect focus but if you want to make your animations look more natural you can do this so go ahead and click your camera settings right here and go ahead and press enable depth of field and what this is going to do is allow things that are in focus to be clear and out of focus to be blurry just like you would on a real life camcorder now what this is is the focus distance right here and when the focus distance this is pretty much the distance where an object has to be for it to be in perfect focus anything that's further away than 1200 or closer than 1200 pixels it will be blurry so go ahead and press OK and again the lock to zoom is just to make sure this and this are the same value so if you have this checked and you change it to 900 or something which you won't see that this is 900 too you guys can figure that out but I just thought I'd share it with you so go ahead and press OK after you have enabled depth of field pressed again if you don't have that pressed everything's gonna be in perfect focus no matter what you want and another thing before I show you guys if 
if you see that things in your composition are too blurry then you can go ahead and uh, subtract a little bit from this blur level but this is pretty much the preset or if you're thinking alright these things aren't blurry enough the things that out of focus I'm talking about you can go ahead and increase that but enough of the small talk let's get to work so now we have our camera right here and we can move it around with the X Y and Z and this is our um, object or composition right here so whenever let's go ahead and work with camera settings actually it probably well that's good for now what we're going to be working with is focus distance parameter right here so again I told you anything that's not 1200 pixels as said right here focus distance is going to be out of focus so this is exactly 1200 pixels away so let me go ahead and move the focus distance closer say to 900 as you can see my image becomes a little more blurry actually I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to 600 and as you can see my image it gets really blurry right here and again if I move this to like 300 it would become incredibly blurry so that's what this little bar is on your camera this is the focus distance right here and as you can see my image is incredibly blurry right here that's because this camera is viewing its focus distance at 300 pixels but this composition is actually at 1200 pixels so if you ever have a composition and you want things to like um, go from far away and they're blurry and have them zoom in and they're clear for a little bit as they get closer but then they come out um, this is how you do that but for now I'm running out of time in this tutorial but I just wanted to show you guys uh, the main thing is double click this to get your camera settings um, your presets enable depth of field allows things to be blurry and not blurry and just go ahead and press ok and this focus distance is the distance your composition needs to be away or the layers need to be away for it to be in perfect focus so anything that's not 300 pixels is going to be progressively blurrier and blurrier and in the next tour I'm probably going to show you guys how to move your camera around or probably something else useful since you can guys can probably figure that out but uh, make sure to check out my next tutorial play around with your camera a bit and hopefully uh, you get good at it before moving on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching now see you next time